everybody and welcome to our channel and uh, today we will uh, replace the chain again we'll film more detailed video on how to uh, disconnect and connect the chain using the Chinese riveting tool I'll show you more detailed uh, process of disconnecting and how the tool itself needs to be modified and connecting the, the, the chain riveting the chain with the Chinese tool so uh, let's start it up. We prepare everything by uh, removing the valve cover, both three injectors, uh, putting the HR cooler on the side, uh, removing the fan, having access here to the chain itself. We are keeping the chain tensioner in place. That's gonna be the last step, to, the last thing to replace after all the job will be complete. Uh, we're using our shop made uh, chain tool to hold the chain close as much possible to the uh, spocket and we're taking the first tool from our Chinese uh, set uh, this is the tool to remove the um, to disconnect the chain of course if you see that uh, it's designed that way that it's supposed to that it just touches the spocket on the side but you have to slightly grind the edge of the tool in order to be able to slide it on top here of the spot. Also, uh, when you start disconnecting the tool, this thing itself will touch the uh, teeth of the spocket. I'll show you real quick. Here, I just grind it a little bit so you can slide off and move through the teeth all the way to push that pin and disconnect the chain. And I'll show you how it's gonna look like. Uh, we'll actually disconnect the chain now. First thing that we are going to do is to put the zip ties on the ends of the chain to secure possible slipping the chain off the gear. One zip tie on each side will be more than enough. Then putting the putting the tool on the teeth itself. Make sure that the head of the pin sits exactly on the head <clears throat> on the head of the pin we're taking the metric 13 <clears throat> starting slowly A few moments later. When the small one will be completely tightened, we'll, we will start going in all together. And that's where I told you about the teeth here, over here. Don't worry about damaging the teeth of the spot. You will not be able to damage them. If you'll have some few scratches left there, it's gonna be no problem at all. Now you will have to carefully untighten the metric 19. You gotta be really careful not to lose the pin. See, and now you'll have your pin over here. This is your pin. That previous one I showed you just an example because you need to pay attention on which link you are disconnecting in order to connect the new one with the, depending on the, 
what kind of Chinese tool you have, but there's supposed to be a double link, uh, link of the chain that will connect two of them. Because uh, the one that I showed you before an example, I disconnect the other one. You can, you also can use that one too with a, with a simple pin. I mean, with a, just a single pin using the, uh, the riveting tool, but it's just more complicated and easier just to use the Chinese tool. And I already removed the other link, so. It's supposed to look like that exactly when you will disconnect the the chain in that place. Now you, you, you're using the link to connect both of them. You can secure or not secure in them. Nothing gonna happen. It will not go away and nothing, I mean, it will not disconnect uh, in the process of rolling the chain through the engine. Unless it's like extremely badly stretched, but still you have a tensioner inside and this that's the main reason why we keep the tensioner inside. So the chain will, cannot, to eliminate the possibility of chain to roll out of the timing or disconnect or anything like that. So I'm gonna use the, cause I don't have the link from my Chinese set. I'm gonna use just a, just a factory, just a piece of the chain to connect both of them. And we'll start, uh, we'll start rolling the new chain through. I made some uh, preparation. Just use the aluminum arm to rest the chain on and put the zip tie on the other end of the old chain so you can hold it and carefully rotating the crankshaft. So I'm disconnecting the zip tie here and zip tie over here. I'm holding the whole chain with my hand. I'm gonna start slowly rotating the crankshaft. Carefully and slowly. With another, with another set of hands, will be a little bit easier, but. A few moments later. Almost the end holding everything very carefully. Now you will see the new chain with our mark. And here usually maybe just a little bit more. Yeah. Now I'm taking the zip tie again. and securing the chain. That's it. We're taking out our old chain, taking it off Connecting the new one. With the old chain.
someone asking do we need to replace the tensioner of course replacing a tensioner is a number is a very priority thing as a uh, it needs to be replaced thousand percent and in a, in a vehicle it's like ml or gl the tensioner in the worst case uh, scenarios it can even like uh, disconnect for it in, in, and and break apart in two pieces so yes you have to replace the tensioner when you're doing the chain job that's it your chain is in now we're gonna use the Chinese tool again to uh, rivet that link and I'll show you detailed uh, how it's how it's gonna be done detailed We'll just roll it a little bit, our crank, to get that space, yeah. So at this stage you, you will have to be very careful and very, very attentive on what you are doing and uh, uh, try not to lose the small pieces or to, if you want to protect yourself, you can even cover all the holes here, just in case something gonna fall off your hands will not go down. Because to trace that small parts over there will be very difficult. I mean, unless you don't wanna disassemble the, the motor again. We're taking this two uh, aluminum things from the, from the set and we're taking two links here, so the thing is that you're pushing with your tool that a link forward to those two pieces with the with the uh, with the links and this way the, it will go through the chain and connect both of them practically you will have to put this two taking these two pieces taking that thing the first one and just connecting them both Okay, now just pushing them through really carefully, lifting the the middle link. And connecting the connecting through just to avoid any risk of losing that middle link now connecting the other the other side and connecting both of them okay that's it and now you'll have to put your connecting link forward but not all the way through Just a little bit so it can hold and your tool can be on top of the things on top of that all of that and now we're gonna push this connecting link all the way there uh, and uh, and uh, the, the, the other side of the chain will be holding by that tool and it will go through all of them and this way we'll connect the chain completely. You must go very easy. I mean, not very, but without any extra pressure, you'll fill it with your hand. Holding the other two pieces with the other hand. watching if everything goes as planned. Yep, almost there, we'll just 
we'll adjust a little bit the 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 pins again push them a little bit more further so they have to be the pins must uh, must be on both sides like equally so you can rivet them carefully this is the link and how it looks like connected in the right way and aligned now we're going to use the riveting tool we'll secure the end of the pins here as much as we can or the other side will have to be secured with a with a hammer or two hammers because there's no way to uh, access that spot that place with the uh, you know with the with the chinese tool now we're going to use the riveting the riveting tool i mean the the one that secures the end of the pins just leaves the marks yeah and then the other one but you gotta be really careful not to damage anything When you align the tensioner, you will feel how it slides to the thread carefully. And uh, if you just feel any resistance and it's like it's not going through, just don't push it hard. Because as I said, otherwise you will damage the thread and you will have to re-tap it again. You can help yourself a little bit with lifting the, the guide here like that. It will definitely make the process a lot easier. But otherwise, I'm just carefully sliding in. And that's it. Yep, and now, just taking the bar to tighten all the way to the max. there'll be enough so at this stage we can say that the timing chain change process is uh, complete and uh, right now we have to clean everything and assemble everything back don't forget to clean the holes where injectors are sitting and the head spot for the head cover and the head cover itself and uh, i'll try to thank you for watching and feel free to ask me any questions regarding this or any other topic that you need an answer. And I'll try to film more uh, mechanical videos like engine building or rebuilding or something like that in the future. Thank you and bye-bye.